I'm really excited that there's a Maker Faire in Kansas City. I a way to bring lots of different kinds of people together who do many different things. What connects them is they're all enthusiasts. They love doing what they're doing and they want to share it with other people. Arts, crafts, math, science, robotics, electronics. The overriding thing is it's interactive, demo, show people how to do things, kits, and things for people to play around with. In the beginning, it was just people with sort of crazy fun projects. It's amazing how many people have ended up making businesses out of things that were their hobbies. Generally, the people who are involved in this sort of stuff right now, they do it for fun, but they don't like it to be their job. And that's exactly what the guys at MakerBot Industries did. So that's why they're all heroes to us. Not because they gave us this great 3D printer, but because they took the design they were already working on for fun, the riprap, and they said, we can make this into a business. We can make this a big deal. We can democratize manufacturing. This is the Darwin OP. It's an open source humanoid research platform. I've been really doing the action figures pretty seriously for a couple of years now. So that's all I do right now. It's my gig. I have some bracelets like this. I'm uh, one of the members of the Experimental Instrument Orchestra. And uh, we dumpster dive and make instruments out of junk that we find and whatnot. Kind of a banjo sound. So you see this giant, weird looking metal box thing here? Uh, what we do with that is we grab one of you guys and we put you inside of it. So what you're looking at behind us are two Tesla coils. We're able to use the computer to control the electronics inside the Tesla coil to make them play music through their spark output. So the actual electricity is creating sound pressure waves that makes music and melodies. And the first time you ever see something like this, you don't even know that lightning can create music. You know, I see mouths wide open. I think it's kind of an empowering thing. When the kids come up here, you know, they see this guy talking up in my booth, and they're saying, wow, how does that thing move? And they, they want to take it apart. I am America. We do have a shortage of engineers, so hopefully it will inspire the kids to want to do the engineering, the science. Do you see this uh, expression just light up across their face where they're learning, they're seeing something new, and it's generating interest. It creates a fun, exciting way to teach math and science. We talk about things like 21st century learning, and you say you want your kid to become something, you know? It's like, I think these are some of the people you want them to become, so bring your kids and introduce them. Nowadays in our society, they just basically, if something doesn't work anymore, they just throw it in the trash and then get a new one. But if you're a maker, what you do, you just open the thing up and figure out what's wrong with it and fix it. Some of the problems with products today is they put them together and they don't let you take them apart. They void warranties. And to me, that's kind of the enemy of the maker. The maker needs to be able to take things apart. We want things that are screwed together, not glued together. The future of innovation doesn't begin with entrepreneurs. It begins with people who have no idea that there's ever going to be any money in this space. They're just doing it because they love it and because they're excited about it. Seven is desperately trying to catch them up. We're encouraging people to share their work, to show each other what they love to do and See where that leads, uh, see how that connects them to other people and creates opportunities for them. If you don't know everything yourself, you know, I guarantee you there's at least one person in this room that can at least put you down on the right track. And I think forming that community is very important because then everybody becomes better at what they do. I think it promotes, uh, you know, community and uh, people working together to advance their own knowledge and their own projects. Hey, you can do 
do cool things like this. You can make things. You can learn how to make things. You might wander in to make your fair not knowing what it is. But I hope it inspires you to do something, to make something. You go home and start thinking, hey, this is possible. And it's not only possible, but it's exciting, it's fun, it's rewarding. It's really a great time to be a maker because there's so much you can do. It's a creative spark. It's an idea that I can do something and it's worth doing. And that's how we make the future. Get out there and make